Hi everyone, okay, this is Jan Elvist against Gary Kasparov, which was played in Reykjavik in 1988. Elvist is from Estonia originally, but for the last few years he's represented the USA. In his prime, he was easily in the world top 10. He had the white pieces in this game and opened with C4, the English opening, and in particular the four knights variation, after knight f6, knight c3, e5, knight f3, and knight c6. Play then continued with the book line, e3, bishop b4, queen c2, black castling, and now the unusual d3. We can only presume that Elvis wanted to play a safe and solid game. The normal, normal move at this stage is knight d5. So d3 and rook e8. And you'll notice here, as sometimes happens with the English opening, that the position before us is a uh, Sicilian defence in reverse, in this case the uh, Schäfer-Ingen variation, and that remains the case for a few more moves, with bishop d2, bishop takes c3, bishop takes c3, d5, c takes d5, knight takes d5, and bishop e2. And now a minor piece has been removed from each side, but the position is still a reverse Sicilian. White has the bishop pair, but black is slightly better here, and often with these reversed type of openings it's difficult for white to realize any kind of advantage, and equality is usually the best that can be hoped for out of the opening. So, bishop f5. And it's been said of the English opening that it's the resignation of the center, and that's already starting to look the case here, with uh, black's pieces further advanced of the board than white's, you know, black's from the fourth rank, Whites are only on his third. So, rook d1, which is eyeing the queen, and Elvis is setting up some tactics, but as you'll see, they amount to nothing. Kasparov now pushed on the queen's side with a5, and Elvis castled, and Kasparov played queen e7. And Elvis played a3, and playing instead e4 is ineffective, because now comes knight bd4, Queen b1 and say bishop g4, and the threat you know of the pin is gone. So a3 and a4 is preventing any further push on the queen side by Elvist, who played bishop e1, which is a questionable move really. Presumably he's still playing safe and wants to preserve his bishop pair and improve his position by playing his knight to d2 and then e4. But with this move, with uh, bishop e1, he's hindering further development. And better here was rook f e1, which is bringing his other rook into play. After which he can wait to see Kasparov's plan before making any further committal moves. So bishop e1 and bishop g6, because the threat of e4 had become realistic. So, queen c4 is what Elvis now played, and sticking to his plan here with knight d2 would be bad, because now will come knight f4, and if e takes c4, then knight d4 forks the queen and the bishop, so say queen b1, and knight takes e2, check, king h1, knight takes f4, with a good advantage for black. So, queen c4, rook e d8, and knight d2. And Elvis incorrectly times the rerouting of his knight and falls prey to a typical Kasparov attacking move. If you want to try and spot it, then stop the video now. The move that he played was knight d4, which is a great move that ensures black the advantage and makes Elvis an offer he can't refuse because the bishop on e2 is threatened and unprotected unprotected and moving it does no good. If for example bishop f3 then knight b6 and queen c3 in order to to defend the vulnerable pawn on d3 because say knight takes f3, knight takes f3 then bishop takes d3 is threatened. Um, but now knight b5, queen c1 and bishop takes d3 gives black a big advantage. So because of that threat, e takes d4 is basically forced. Now comes knight f4, which is only possible because of the knight sacrifice, which um, you know deflected the defender of f4. And again, the bishop is threatened, and 
black is getting really good initiative so bishop f3 and now rook takes d4 and black has only a pawn for his knight so far but um, as I said he gets very strong initiative and can immediately get his material back with bishop takes d3 which is going to win the exchange or you know if the bishop goes in the way then either knight takes or bishop takes with check and you know black just gets massive initiative and a much better position and his material back and um, you know now Elvis is going to have to move his queen and the initiative grows for black and playing bishop takes d3 is perhaps what Kasparov's initial plan was to get his material back but here Elvis played queen b5 which is wanting to keep his queen active and protect e2 after bishop takes d3 seemingly holding on to his material advantage but in fact the queen because c6 is what he played next and Elvis is forced to return the material because the queen has no escape square if it goes to b6 then rook a6 and it's lost so bishop takes c6 is forced reply and after b takes c6 queen takes c6 all of the material imbalance except for one pawn is returned and look at Kasparov's pieces compared to Elvis's pieces they're all extremely active and Queen d8 keeps the initiative going threatening to win a pawn on d3 and um, at this stage Fritz gives black as being over a pawn ahead and you know this d pawn is going to fall but that's really the least of white's worries because it's going to be very hard for him not to lose the exchange after again that move bishop takes d3 and knight f3 is what Elvis played here threatening the rook on d4 so the loss of the exchange is delayed but Kasparov now chases the queen around with rook d6 queen b5 rook d5 and queen b4 and now black is getting a big advantage other queen moves are also bad here for example if queen b7 now comes bishop takes d3 and white's best hope here is bishop c3 but now comes bishop takes f1 knight takes e5 and knight to e2 check not rook takes d1 because now comes queen takes f7 check king h8 knight g6 check h takes g6 and queen takes g7 is mate so knight e2 check king takes f1, rook takes d1 check, king takes e2 and f6 which stops white's attack in its tracks and now black is winning easily even after queen f7 check, king h8 because now white has nothing and black's two exchanges up and moves like rook h1 and queen d1 check can be coming up so queen b4 and now e4 from Kasparov which is by far the strongest move in a position can't be taken or um, the rook on d1 is lost and it's much stronger than playing bishop takes d3 so e4 with uh, threats immediately on the knight and on the pawn here threats of creating a passed pawn and these centralized pieces are too much for Elvis to deal with Bishop c3 is what he played here to meet that threat but other moves are also no good like for example if knight d2 now comes queen h4 which is an absolutely crushing move due to the active rook on d5 and it's a tactic worth knowing like if white does nothing about it for example if he plays b3 then it's mate in 3 with knight to e2 check king h1 queen takes h2 check king h2 and you see the knight is covering these two squares you can also do it with a bishop on uh, the f file and rook h5 is mate so after queen h4 g3 would be the move but now it's absolutely crushing again it's mate and 4 but g takes f4 rook h5 and there's no way to avoid the mate on h2 
So bishop c3 from Elvest anyway. And now knight e2 check and Elvis resigned because he's lost a piece. After the king moves comes e takes f3 and the rest will be a matter of technique. So it was a great game from Gary Kasparov. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave any comments or thoughts. Thanks very much.